Mrs. Mullins and I stay down here. Your rooms are upstairs. Locked. And it stays that way. Samuel appears to be one thing, and uh, quite potentially might not be. Um, but that's the tricky part of... That was the challenge for me looking at the role. You know, you could approach it in such a way that it turns out to be just like a kind of one-dimensional character. Um, but I've been trying to find places in there all the time where you wonder, uh, like he's almost friendly sometimes and you start to feel for him a little bit. They've done a really kind of fantastic job in recreating a house that was once, you can tell, was once in its prime and had a happier feel and has now fallen into that kind of, you know, it's depressed and therefore not taken care of particularly. And it's, the age is starting to become apparent. We prayed to see our beloved girl again. The contact started small. But then it wanted permission to move into a doll so that it could be with us forever. We said yes. It's much more implied violence, which I find a heck of a lot scarier than just, just pure blood and gore everywhere. I'm not saying we don't have it. We have some, of course, because we need it. Um, but the truly frightening stuff in this when I was reading the script was the implication of what was behind the door. Well, basically, you know, I, I, I'm working with these, you know, young, uh, young, ladies, young women, girls. And my job is basically to, you know, walk around the set, scare the hell out of them, which I have to say I enjoy immensely. It's good fun. Um, but they're, you know what, they're really, um, actually during filming, I actually keep a distance from them just to um, help them with thinking, not that they need much help, but I don't think that I'm creepy. Sister is coming after me. 